My son Rory wanted to change the world. Rory was just the best kid. Rory was decent. He wouldn't be bullied. He wouldn't tolerate bullying. He always took the side of the underdog. He was one of those kids. Orla has been, from day one, a fantastic mom. The four of us did everything together. Rory went to school, as usual, on Wednesday. And he came home and he had a, a Band-Aid on his elbow. He said, I fell. Later on that evening, he just kept saying to me, my leg, Mom, my leg. I brought him into the emergency room. They said, don't worry about it, it's a virus, and discharged him. And then the following morning, he began to turn a little yellow, and then his nose started turning black. We brought him into the emergency room. They did everything they could, but it was too late. On Sunday evening, they walked in. <laughs> they said he died. I started asking questions. How could I have a healthy child on Wednesday and then be burying a child a week later? I found out that Rory died from sepsis and I had never heard of sepsis before. It had killed my son because it wasn't cared for properly. We decided to go on a campaign so no other child should ever have to go through what he went through. We put together regulations called Rory's Regulations. It's as simple as identifying it and getting fluids and antibiotics. Governor Cuomo signed Rory's Regulations into law in 2013. State number two is now in the books with Illinois, and we're not done until all 50 states are done. They have saved thousands of lives. People hear the story and say to their doctor, have you checked for sepsis? Do you, do you think my kid might have it? My son developed sepsis, and because of the Roy Stoughton Foundation, he's here with me today. And if you can say I've made this world a better place, like I know my son Rory wanted to do, then I think that we all have worth.